Welcome to Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V. I'm Cyrock Omega, and thanks for joining me. So this is my first Let's Play, and I'm still trying to work out how this is all working, and if it's even working. But, uh, yeah, we'll work through this one way or another. Just push through it, just keep trying and trying and trying and trying until, like, stop trying, and it works. Um, so... I'm going to be playing as Shaka of the Zulus. He's in the Zulus are a new culture to Brave New World. And very much military based, as you can see. That the military costs 50% less. Uh, melee units, rather. And 25% less experience until their next promotion. So that's really nice. We're going to be on a large map with 9 other civs and 20 city-states. Time off, because... Time is annoying. If you get up to 2050, the game just ends and whoever has the most points wins, and that's anticlimactic. I had a victory like that, and that was a little surprising. We're also gonna have Raging Barbarians on, and uh, so that means the Barbarians are gonna spawn more, and I can farm culture off them once I have the honor culture. So let's fire this up. Your people kneel before you, great warrior Shaka of the Zulu Kingdom. As you rose from a place of exile to become the true leader of the Zulus, you ushered in changes throughout the Zulu society, implementing new laws and cultural reforms that strengthened the position of your kingdom. However, it was your tenacity in the art of war that truly established your reputation, as your tactics and strategies on the battlefield forever changed the face of combat across the plains of southern Africa. Most formidable king, your people once again long for the unity and strength your leadership afforded them. Can you return the Zulu kingdom to such great prominence? Will you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Of course I will, because I am awesome. So this is not a bad start. I normally like being on the ocean, but this is also not too bad. Got some nice some farm area there. And furs, cattle, silk. Not bad. Not bad. I'm probably going to follow the river and see how close I am to the ocean. Get the monument, get that culture going right away, and going to go for pottery. I'm wanting to kind of have a faith, a, a kind of stronger faith secondary of sorts, but later on I'm going to focus more on science, because the science is good for getting the, getting stronger military, getting the up-to-date military units. Oh, see, right there, right by the ocean. They're three tiles away. That's a little annoying, but whatever. We'll we'll roll with it. A lot of desert for the coast here. Uh, and that a pantheon being founded six turns in probably means that either the Ethiopians are on this map, or the Celts, if not both, because both of those cultures get a lot of faith from the very beginning. Ruins, awesome. Let's get that. Mm, culture, that's nice. A quick little boost. Let's let's work on how much longer until the. All right. I'll get a scout. Get a better look around. I want to keep my my warriors close to the capital, close to my city. Cause those barbarians are gonna be showing up and screwing with everything soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go for honor. I get the culture based on defeating uh, defeating barbarians, which are gonna be a lot of. So that'll be nice. I'm gonna go, I'll explain the differences in the chart later. 
probably on my next one. So I'll only be on like less than ten turns. Eight turns there. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? Why would it do that? Clay can't talk, that's silly. Alright, now let's go for Let's go for the calendar. I really want to get Stonehenge first. I don't like getting undercut on religion. Almost as much as I don't like getting undercut on wonders. That's some of the most defeating... The most defeating noise, like, ever, is the noise when some other culture makes a wonder. It doesn't matter if you were working on it, just... Bom, wow, And... It just makes you die a little bit on the inside. And now I got spears, that's awesome. That is greatly appreciated. See, there we go. Barbarians, right there. Can I take you out? I'll give it a little shot. I think I did. Can I? No. Kind of close, but no. Ah, oh, great jungle. I don't like jungle. Not for any particular reason, I just don't like it. Build that shrine, get that faith coming up. And normally, scouts are the absolute squishiest, weakest things ever. But... With wonder- uh, with, uh, the- with honor culture, then there's a good bit more... survivability to them. Alright, so... Uh, a couple differences is that previously, piety and rationalism were mutually exclusive. You can only choose one. But now you can choose both, which is nice. It's kind of how they worked up the culture tree a good bit. The culture chart. Culture progression or whatever. And now they added aesthetics and exploration. Aesthetics now, as you can see there, improves civilization's ability to generate culture. And exploration is the ability to generate an empire. Generate? Spread your empire over the seas. Otherwise, these are mostly the same. Except, uh, that, uh, that picture has changed, I think, th uh, that's a different name. Oh yeah, a great work merchants didn't exist before. That's the same. I think that's the same. That is a different name. That's a new picture. I think that's really about it. Oh, and, uh, piety is now unlocked from the very beginning, instead of having to wait till classical era to get it unlocked. So, um, that is... So I don't think it'd be cool to... Because normally you'd start with one of these three cultures. I think it'd be interesting to ha play a game where you focus on piety from the very beginning and not really these much as much. These quite as much. Oh, and also, there are certain wonders that you can only build if you, are, if you unlock one of the culture... If you choose that culture tree. For example, this one will build you Ufizi, this one will get you Big Ben, Exploration will get you the Louvre, R uh, Rationalism will get you the Porcelain Tower, and so on. So let's choose Tradition. I, n I love Tradition. I normally go for a smaller empire that's based on culture, which is very good for Tradition. And I also love Aristocracy, because I love the bonus that it gets to building wonders. It makes them go faster. Yeah, scout faster. <laughs> and so I almost always get tradition. Ooh, <laughs> more ruins there. Awesome. Good thing I went down there. I'll probably do kind of an arc around here. Oh, hello. They wanna? Yeah, you, you guard. And more, more ruins there. My goodness. Getting all the ruins. Alright. This coast or like... Ooh. It seems like I'm on a, rel a relatively thin strip of land. Kind of like that. Hello. Uh... Byzantium? The Byzantine Empire? Or Carthage? Byzantine. 
Ω, oh, μονοποίον θαύμα. Ποιον όνομα επιμισέ ο καλός ξένος. Είμαι η Θεοδόρα, η φίλη του Βυζαντίου. Hello. Look at that armpit. It always just draws my eyes. And she knows it too. Look at her. Uh. I don't know. It's just always... Uh, looks weird. Anyway. Put a shirt on, lady. She, she's looking over there. She knows. She knows. Alright, you're all healed up. That's fine. I'm gonna keep you there. I'm gonna circle around back. Attack them from there. You, uh, move up there. Start building a worker. Yeah, we want to start getting all this stuff improved. Let's go around there. I got this mountain range here. Such rough everything. So teach us to number our days, so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Neat. So, even more barbarians over here. There's popping up everywhere. It's as if they're angry at something. Let's... Let's do animal husbandry. See if there are horses anywhere, and we can also start working on that cattle. Eventually. This probably wasn't the best idea to try and get around back. Because it's so slow. It's not a single piece of regular anything here. At least I'm here. Kinda. I start attacking you. Yes, my scouts are powerful. I hit you with sticks. Sticks of might. This guy's protection. That's not an uncommon one to get rid of. To have show up early. Shoot a chew. And finish you off. That's not nice. Alright, get rid of you. Shoot there. Let's do the double survivalism. That'd be good. More likely for him to not get killed. Aristocracy, we're gonna want that. Uh, I can wait six turns for the worker to get finished. I guess I'm not a smiley person. Finish him off. Heal a little bit. You want to heal a lot. You want to shoot at them. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Indeed. Horses? No? Yes? No? No. Horses! Now, let's start working on... What else do I have around here? We're gonna want mining. To cut down those trees. Oop. Oh. Oh. Aiga ti askia songai. Erga mila aiga adilai. Amma bay kul kandir de kubay zarira. Kula saburiga. Masiteta basi matkaldadi. 
Why is everything on fire? Are you a mean person? Oh. Yeah, let's finish you off. Get that, get that culture. <laughs> Pardon that, please. Hope that wasn't too loud. Stone circles. All right. I'm going for the God of War. Get that. Oh, war bonus, obviously. <laughs> 